What's up guys? Thanks for stopping back by the Auto Shop Life. So real quick, I got to touch on a few videos I did. The Flip Series. So you guys know, if you follow the channel, you know we had the Equinox. We had that uh, Ford Focus, the Chevy Equinox, the Ford Focus. I still got this Pathfinder. Pathfinder is actually ready to be sold. There wasn't really too much content enough to talk about that, throw a battery in it. Just waiting on a buyer on that. The Jeep, I'm still waiting for the guy to pick it up. He ran into some financial things. And uh, my Lincoln Aviator, I'm probably going to end up keeping that one for myself. So I put that on the back burner for now. But I got another one that I just picked up for the Flip Series. Obviously, Equinox, we ended up getting about 48 for all in. Sold it for 48 the uh, Ford Focus, I got two grand for it, so we're building up some of this money to kind of step it up. Wait till you see what we got next, guys. Check it out. Shut up and sit down. Alright guys, <clears throat> so I'm out here getting ready to leave, but I want to show you guys this real quick. Here's the next one, 2009 Pontiac GXP, just picked this one up, got dropped off here yesterday. A little bit of backstory on this one, I actually, uh, the guy called me, it was a uh, you know, good customer of mine's colleague that he works with, it was his son's car. and. Uh, you know, younger kid, whatever, but I guess he was racing it one day or he over revved it and, uh, you know, I guess the motor ended up having a knock. So he sent me some pictures on it and, I mean, as you guys can see by the pictures alone, you know, I'm going to buy this thing. I already knew. So I pretty much told him, you know, hey, let's get it down here. Um, I offered the guy a tow. He didn't want to take it. He tried to drive it here and lo and behold, you know, the motor locked up on the way. So I'm guessing, you know, spun crank bearings or whatever. I'm not even going to play games. I'm just going to go ahead and Put a low mileage used motor in it get it from my vendor but this thing's pretty clean here's the key looks like it's got automatic start the interior on this thing is i mean pretty much cherry it's got it's even got the new car smell we're checking this thing out earlier but i mean this thing is nice fully loaded gxp it's got some weird shifter in here with a supreme sticker but i mean the seats got Two-tone embroidered seats. The back seats, again, look like they've never been sat in. You guys know I eat this stuff up. You know, when cars come to me this clean, you know, I, I pretty much don't pass them up. I like to rescue these cars. You know, not going to... This thing doesn't belong in a junkyard. It definitely belongs to be back on the road. You know, it deserves to be back on the road. But sunroof. Look, like it's got the OnStar compass in the rearview mirror. This thing is nice. No aftermarket radio, still pretty stock on the inside. That's how I like them. But get over on the driver's side here. I mean, look, even the door trims are nice and clean and detailed. Wherever this guy got this, I'm not sure how long they had it for. But, you know, it was definitely taken care of. Maybe run a Carfax on this thing. He's got some little covers on the calipers, it looks like. But the rim's nice and clean. No curb rash on them. Tires look decent. He started to tell me about some uh, upgraded lighting he has on it, maybe LEDs or something. I haven't seen this thing at night yet. Like I said, this thing just got dropped off last night. It's got some kind of grill on there. I'm not sure if that's stock. I really don't know what these cars look like. They're kind of rare in this area. But no dents, no scratches. Nice tint on the window. Not too dark, not too light. Let's pop this hood. But yeah, definitely looks good. I want to say mileage is at 123, but like I said, you know, no matter what I do, I'm going to get a low mileage motor. It's got the 3.6 in it. It's got the nice hood on there. There's the 3.6. Even underneath here looks good. So it was definitely taken care of. It's a shame the kid, uh, you know, over rev these motors or whatever he did. You know, maybe an oil change, who knows. But, you know, it's not like I take the guy's word for it. But that's that. Even the trunk. This spoiler on here looks nice. 
it's not all damaged. A little bit of paint missing here, it looks like. Clear coat missing. I don't know if the camera's picking that up. Trunk looks good. Needs a quick vacuum. But looks like he's got most of his belongings out of here. Comes with a spare. Definitely decent. But I'll definitely be getting on this thing right away. Getting a motor ordered next week. And, uh, you know, I don't know, maybe do some uh, time lapse of doing the motor or whatever. <laughs> He's got the Mopar style stripes on the fenders. But I'm definitely digging it. It's going to be the next one for the flip, guys. We're going to flip this one. So that's that one, guys. This is going to be the next one for the flip series. I got 300 bucks in it right now. Pick this thing up for 300 bucks as it sits. Definitely needs a motor. Like I said, like I said, I'm not gonna not gonna waste any time trying to rebuild that. God knows what's actually wrong with it or whatever. And it's less money, less time, less dedication to just you know get a trusted motor from my vendor and you know pop one in there. I guess all in with the motor. You know as long as everything else is good, 1,500 bucks in with a used motor, all the fluids. But uh, Steve's actually looking at this one. He likes it, so maybe uh, we'll do a quick flip series for him and uh, get him a car, you know, something different than what he's got now or what he's driving now or whatever, and uh, get the new guy into this thing, you know, get him a nice car. But definitely dig it. You guys let me know down in the comments what you guys think of the next one on the flip series. Maybe give me some thoughts of what we're going to flip next after this one and after we get rid of the Nissan. We're sitting on a little bit of, we're adding up here guys. We're sitting on a little bit so maybe we can kind of step it up to maybe something you guys like to see built. I got a few in mind but you know outside of what this one is and what I'd like to get you know it's called a flip series. It's not something you know I don't want to buy one and end up keeping it like I ended up doing with the Lincoln. So you know you like these cars too much you end up just keeping them for yourself and Tech, pretty much I got too many cars as, as it is so I don't need any more cars but let me know down in the comments what you guys think of this if you guys ever own these like I said they're rare in this area but 2009 I think 2010 was the last year Pontiac even made cars so it's a nice one to see it's a nice one to preserve get this thing back on the road get it out there but as always like comment subscribe catch you guys in the next one signing out